Hi, during the installation process of Flutter, some of my students are complaining that they are facing an error that is something like unable to locate Android SDK. So I thought I should go ahead and provide the solution. So right now on my screen, you can see that I am getting this error unable to locate Android SDK. However, I have installed the Android Studio, but still it is not able to recognize the Android SDK path. So to resolve this problem, what we need to do is that we need to add the Android SDK path into the environment variable. And to add the path in the environment variable, first we need to find out the path of the, you know, uh, Android SDK locally. So first of all, let's find out where is the Android SDK located on our system. To know the path, what I will do is that there are multiple options by the way. The easiest one is that you start the Android Studio so I will click on Windows button and start the Android Studio. And after in, uh, starting it, starting this, we will go to the SDK manager to find out the location of Android SDK on our system. Okay, so the Android Studio is started. So what you can do is that if you click on this SDK manager button on the top, uh, you will be able to see SDK manager. Whenever you will open this, you will see that it is by default selected Android SDK. Uh, but if you are not able to find out this Android SDK, what you can do is that you can search out SDK here as well. And this will uh, give you to uh, give you the option to choose Android SDK here. And from here, what you can do is that you can see that our SDK location is this one. See users, my username and app data. So uh, for you, it can be something like add data local and android but in my case uh, this is my path for android sdk installation okay in order to go to this folder i will go to c and users users and from there i will choose my username and from my username i will go to the uh, app data folder here so uh, you can see that this is the app data folder by default this folder is, is hidden to show this folder you can go to the view and from here, you can make sure that you have selected uh, hidden items here so that the hidden items are visible. So right now I can click on this option. And after I click on this option, you can see that there are multiple folders that are available here. Uh, the important folders to fix this problem are platform folder and platform tools folder. So what you, what you need to do is that you need the path of this platforms folder and also the platform tools folder. First, let's uh copy this path so what i will do is that i will click here and this will make sure that uh this is editable text and i will just select this text and press the control plus c uh, from my keyboard so that this text is copied okay now once the text is copied what i can do is that i i need to add this into the environment variable so you already know that how to add uh, any path into the environment variable so to open edit environment variable window, what I will do is that I will click on windows button from my keyboard and type in ENV. And after typing ENV, you can see that it is providing an option, edit the system uh, environment variables. Just click on this option and you can see that this window pops up. And from here, make sure that you are on the advanced tab. And from here, click on add environment variables option. And from there, you will be able to see uh, another option that is something like uh, environment variables and from here you, you can see that there are two options first one is this path and second is this path this time we need to choose this path and add our platform uh, folder link or folder path so i will click on this and click on edit here once you click on edit you see another dialog uh, just like this and from here you can you can click on new here and from new you can just right click and paste this okay now you can see that i just copy pasted the platform tools folder here and just click okay and from here again you need to click on okay again for our this dialog and okay again for this dialog but right now i we need to add another path so i will go back and go to the platform tools folder this time Previously, we just added the platforms uh, folder, but right now we are going to add platform tools folder 
into the environment variables so just double click and again just like before we will you know copy this path and after copying this path i will go to the uh, environment variables again and this time again path the same way and i will click on edit and after clicking clicking on edit i will just add new entry and just copy paste this press ok press ok from here and press ok from here okay so now let's test out our command for flutter uh, doctor again just like before and let's see if this can solve the problem and also in order to test this we need to restart our command prompt so i will close this window and and let's start the flutter terminal again i will type in terminal and from here you need to ju you just need to type in flutter doctor here and let's see if this can solve the problem uh, that we faced Okay, now you can see that the uh, Android SDK not located or unable to locate SDK problem is gone. But now we are facing another problem that is Flutter Doctor Android licenses. Uh, Android license is not accepted. So you know that we just need to run this command and our error will go away permanently. So let me just uh, uh, copy paste this command and this will accept the licenses for us we might need to press wife couple of time here so that uh, this goes away why again why again why not a couple of times by the way and why and now if you run the flutter doctor again you will see that uh, everything will work fine and now you are able to move forward and learn or implement flutter apps development by the way make sure to check out my detailed playlist about flutter so that you can get comfortable with flutter apps development best of luck and if you have any question make sure to write it in the comment section and i will definitely reply you back